part of what takes me so long to edit is because I'm watching it, you know, I'm watching it halfway through and then watching the funny parts or, or like I'll edit something and I'll add five more minutes and then I'll watch it all the way through again. So I need to stop doing that because it really slows me down. friends, welcome back. So today I thought I would sit down and talk to you a little bit about why I'm going to continue doing this channel, how we're going to go forward and what our five year plan is and what our goals are for the channel and for our family and for our health and for Brady's recovery. I don't know if you guys watched my first garden tour, but I kept having to tell you that I didn't know what the variety was because either the stick fell out or I wrote it in pencil and it came off or I wrote it in pen and it came off or whatever. So it's kind of nice to be able to go back to those videos and remember like when I first planted them what it was. Like that one that was a lilac bell. If I had gone back to an earlier video then I would have remembered what it was because it's it still had the writing on it. But anyway so it's it's nice to go back and revisit my own videos and so that I know what I've planted or what I'm growing or whatever or like if I'm like oh this tomato is really awesome and I don't remember what it is well that's a bummer and to be able to grow it again although you can save seeds so that's that's one thing unless it's a hybrid because then you might not get the same tomato oh that's a whole nother video so we'll just we'll just leave that one alone I do tend to go off on tangents a lot so if you see the you know squirrel flash over the screen it's probably usually because I went off on some tangent and forgot to come back you know squirrel how have you guys been liking those um Disney Easter eggs do you like playing along or are they kind of lame I guess I'll leave them in because I like playing I like doing it um and it's fun to see you guys try to guess or whatever and anyway it's one way for me to interact with you and for you to kind of understand what our, our life is like because we do often speak in Disney um, because of Brady it's one way that he connects to us so we speak in Disney quite a bit I probably will still keep it in so if it annoys you just ignore it if you can okay so another reason that I have chosen to continue on with these videos is um, with that brain fog that I was feeling it, I feel like when I'm doing the videos, it's kind of like a puzzle. I have to put the music in and I have to, you know, cut out the times when I said um or when I took too long to think of something. Another reason that I chose to continue on with the videos is because this way I can, my garden is my happy place, and this way I can revisit my garden anytime I want to when the snow is flying. I can see the sun, I can see my garden. I am probably going to be watching these videos way more than you guys. And another thing that they tell you about, you know, making YouTube videos is that you should uh, create more content than you consume. So does that count if you're consuming your own content? <laughs> because, I don't know, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like reviewing the play, you know? Like when you're playing football, you review the play so that you know what to do different for next time, or, you know, where you're gonna change something, where you're gonna improve it, or a different idea. Um, so yeah, maybe that, maybe that doesn't count if I'm watching my own, so. Although, you know what? Part of what takes me so long to edit is because I'm watching it, you know, I'm watching it halfway through and then watching the funny parts or, or like I'll edit something and I'll add five more minutes or I'll delete a little bit and then I'll watch it all the way through again. So I need to stop doing that because it really slows me down. I mean, right now it's taking me probably three to four days to edit a video and part of it is probably just because I keep watching it. Um, but anyway, so... I, I'm doing it so that I can come back to my garden anytime I want to. One of the things that I would love to do, but I can't talk Steve into, is 
selling the house and taking like a year and just getting a pull behind camper that we can just kind of go around the world and figure out where we want to land. More than likely that'll be Georgia uh, because we have a lot of family down there. If we were to f all of a sudden win the lottery, we'd probably end up in Hawaii though because that's where we would really love to be. If money was not an issue, we would have been there years ago. I would also like to build a community of like-minded people. I would like to be able to learn some of the skills that we are looking at in the future, like um, animal husbandry, uh, farming, doing all of those things. I want to be able to learn from a community of like-minded people. So obviously we are not going to know everything from the beginning. This is new for us. We're excited to do it. We want to do it. We're going to learn a lot while we're here before we get to the farm. But for now, I want to learn as much as we can where we are. So I am hoping to learn just as much from you guys as hopefully you'll learn from me <laughs> or us. Maybe you'll learn more of what not to do <laughs> than what to do. So we have made so much progress with Brady. It's incredible. And I don't want this channel to be all about autism. It's it's not, you know, I didn't start out to do an autism channel, um, but it is a big part of our life. So a lot of the things that we talk about and the reasons that we're doing the things that we're doing is because of autism. We both have, I have an autoimmune disorder and autism is an autoimmune disorder. Same thing with diabetes. My dad has diabetes. I have Crohn's. Brady has autism, you know, and it all starts with a fire, a fire of inflammation. Inflammation that is started by the foods that you eat. They're either inflammatory or good for you. I'm gonna sound like a broken record sometimes, I think, because I, I believe so passionately about the fact that if we all had the willpower, and I say that because I am very guilty of giving in to junk food and fast food and candy. <laughs> I want to be good, but it's so hard sometimes, isn't it? It is November 2nd, so you know that that was just Thanksgiving, or pff, Halloween, which means I ate a lot of candy. I didn't have the willpower. So let's do this together. We can keep each other accountable. We can, we can work together, learn together. We want to be a resource for other struggling families so that it doesn't, it, the road doesn't have to be as hard for them as it, as it was for us and you don't have to feel so alone. Another reason was so that I could get advice um, and encouragement and constructive but kind criticism from people. It'll be a documentation, video documentation of all of our autism struggles and wins and losses and you know all the things we've tried and all the things we've overcome and all the things we're still trying to overcome and what we're doing and what our ideas are. You know, nothing's in stone. We're, we're a lot of it is guesswork and trying something new, whether that be olive oil and inulin or whether it's a supplement, B vitamins. As I mentioned to you, I'm, I had to start taking B12 shots because I'm not nutritionally absorbing B12. And as I said before, seeing where we've come from helps me appreciate the things that we've already overcome because we've worked so hard and come so far. Another reason that I'm doing this is because I want to create content that makes people smile. I know when I'm sitting there and I'm watching my videos, I, I'm i like a kid, you know, I'm sitting there with a giant smile on my face. Uh, I really enjoy watching them. I love watching my my kids have fun. So if, if it can bring a smile to your face too, all the better. Along that same lines is kind of like being a light in the darkness. Right now there's so much sadness and so much mental illness and so much, so many struggles in the world and it just, you know, the news is horrible, everything, it's just, everybody's struggling right now. Politics, supply chain, border crisis, all the stuff. Gas prices, oh my gosh. It, I co it cost me $70 to fill my tank the other day. It hasn't cost that since I can't even remember the last time it was that expensive to fill my tank. Another reason that we are doing this is because creating the content for you guys um, forces us to kind of get off the couch or to do the things that it's much easier right to just be lazy and watch Netflix or whatever but it's much more 
rewarding? I don't know. Creating the content helps us get off the couch. Um, having um, a reason to go do things. It's not that they, we wouldn't do them as a family anyway, but we are, it, it just gives us more incentive to go and do something fun or play a game together or family fun night, you know? <laughs> Gets us out there doing things instead of being on our devices. The other thing that would be really nice to do eventually is to be able to travel to other countries and to help our kids learn um, about other cultures and to learn to value other cultures and see that there are other ways of doing things and usually there are multiple ways to get to where you're going. Another reason is when you're trying to create a community that community is usually going to want to know you and know things about you so part of it is just sharing us and our lives. Please be kind we're doing this to help other parents. This channel is going to be about diet, nutrition, family life, travel, everything. It's going to be a combination of so many different things. Our channel will mostly be a video diary of all of our family shenanigans, everything that we do together. It'll be a mix of family vlogs, travel vlogs, vacation footage, garden tours, home growing, harvesting, preserving, all of those things. Um, I really want to get back to a simpler way of life and doing you know, self-sustainable things, uh, growing our own food, hopefully getting chickens one day. Um, but Steve May said I had to wait until I have a thousand subscribers before he'll build me a chicken coop. So if you can help me out with that, <laughs> share this video. I want to do bunnies too, but that's going to take some convincing. We're going to learn as much of that as we can here. And hopefully you guys will help me get those chickens. In a, in a couple years, once Piper graduates, we plan on moving either to... Georgia or Hawaii depending on where we are um, in our finances and by then and what we can swing what we can do our preference obviously would be Hawaii because two birds one stone we love snorkeling and we love gardening well I love gardening and I want the farm so and I want to be more sustainable and I want everything that goes in my family's mouth at least 90% of it to be from my farm because then I know 100% that it's organic and it's safe and it's not covered in pesticide poison. That's another video too. My garden is my happy place and I really want to share that with you. I want to be able to share all the exciting things about growing things from a seed, the magic of growing something from a teeny tiny little seed and that seed produces a plant that produces 20 fruits or whatever, you know, from one tiny seed. That's magic and I'm going to be able to share that with you. I'm not perfect. I'm, I've been gardening for 20 plus years, but I don't know everything yet. So you can teach me just as much as I can probably teach you. And I'm looking forward to having a community of people, like-minded people that um, share their knowledge, aren't judgmental, um, help each other. I'm li really looking forward to that. So if you want to join this community, um, say hello down below. A lot of people are asking how they can uh, be supportive of us and this adventure and our channel and everything. And the best way that you can do that is just to subscribe. It's it it's free to just click that little button. Um, the more subscribers that we have, the more YouTube pushes out our content to other people and it gets seen by other people. And hopefully, eventually, maybe someday, recover Brady because that's what this is all about. It's about his recovery and our health and living longer and healthier and with less chronic illness. Absolute best way to support us is to subscribe, like, and share. So we've been getting some free range eggs from one of Steve's co-workers at work. My goodness, the way that those eggs taste compared to store-bought eggs, and we buy organic eggs from Costco, but the way that those, I thought that the Costco eggs were orange these are really orange i mean not yellow at all orange um and they taste so much different and you know i actually was watching it was some doctor it was a keto doctor and um i don't do keto i i did keto in the past and it was really really i really liked it and i will probably do it at some point again in the future because it really made me feel awesome. But this keto doctor said that versus people who feed their chickens just off pasture, like grass-fed and they eat the bugs and that's it, um, and don't supplement with grain, the amount of omega-6 in the eggs from the free-range chickens is 30% lower than the chickens that are fed grain. So that just goes to show you how much 
all those grains does to our food system. It's not just a matter of, you know, oils and things like that. It's also the grains. The grains that our animals are eating um, make their meat less healthy. So if a grain makes an animal less healthy and you eat that animal and you're eating the grains, you're eating like a double dose of the bad stuff. Because when you eat an animal, you've eaten all of the toxic things that it's ever eaten in its lifetime because a lot of that is stored in the liver if you're not clearing it properly. So where's the channel going? The channel will be going towards all the things we'll be learning, all of the things we're doing right, all of the things we're doing wrong, what we've learned. Human experience is, is just, or human life is just a string of experiences. Uh, everything that you do, you learn from, so, and you do it better the next time. So there's gonna be lots of mistakes made. I'm sure that once we get animals, you can't escape death on a farm, so I'm sure that there'll be many lessons there. You know, runts die. Chicks don't always come all healthy. You know, if you get a 20 chicks in the mail, you might have one that dies. So those are um, things that we'll have to deal with. And I'm sure that there's going to be like fourth generation farmers out there that are gonna be like, you stupid people, why are you doing this? You know, you're just, you know, not, responsible for those animals or whatever but you know what we're gonna do the best that we can with what we've got and we're gonna learn and we're gonna you know take advice and we're gonna learn from you guys and feel free to offer advice we would be happy to learn from you I think, I think that's about it for now it is going to change over time just like opinions change everything evolves over time the more you learn the more you know your opinions are formed based on your experiences so as your experiences change and things you know you have more experiences you have more knowledge um, you learn more uh, and you can do things better the next time so I don't know a single person that's perfect so please don't take our opinions as just consider them just that they're just our opinion they're just our way of doing it it's just our experience um, in my experience this happened in my experience that happened so anyway just learn and grow with us i'm looking forward to learning and growing with you so come along with us join us on our journey so that's it for this episode friends until next time hoping your family is happy and healthy if you like this video don't forget to give us a thumbs up it really helps us grow subscribe share and turn on the bell notification Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for sharing. Your support means the world to us. Until next time, never stop learning to grow wherever you're presently planted.